All right, so here's what I'm gonna do for you, Midi. I'm gonna go here to my job manager. I'm in my GUI, you can kind of do this from anywhere. Uh, but you'll see, I'm gonna go here, actually I'll show you. So here's my networks. Here's my networks. So you see I've got three networks, a couple networks here, and then I got a container with a bunch of slash whatever, 16, 32, 24s in there. So I'm gonna go here to job manager, and I'm gonna run an export, bam. Now, when you go into the export, you can export anything in the database, and that's the default. I'm gonna uncheck all objects, and then I'm gonna go to networks, and if I just wanna do networks, I can just actually do networks, and I'm gonna run an export. Bam. Let this run for just a second. All right, so now my job is complete. You see, exported 32 objects, I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna go here, now I'm gonna open this. And here, here's what I got. So you see the format it gave me. So I've got a bunch of exports. So I've got a bunch of, I got a, an export of all my networks. You see here my, my 1.0 and my 2.0 are my two main networks. And then all of these are inside that 10.00 slash 8 container that I have. And so what you could do is I could take and I could just remove all these networks. So I could just say, I don't want that. And then I could go back to your email and I'll open up your networks. And you see here, and you could just take these networks and you could take those networks and then put them in here and then just build them out here with the mask. And then you could leave everything else the same. Or I could, you know, a lot of these fields you're not gonna need. But the, the nice thing is that the doing it this way, you'll be able to set, you know, which DHCP members, authoritative, and all these things, but you could delete all that stuff if you wanted. Uh, keep the headers, of course. But you could delete all this stuff and not import any of that. But then you could just build out your CSV with all your networks, and then you go back to here, and then you go import, and you say, I wanna do an import, and I can either add, overwrite, merge, and there's options here if you're adding, what happens if you hit a network you already have, you can tell it to keep going, you know, or whatever. Uh, replace, it'll keep going when it finds conflicts, whatever. Oh, here we go, yeah. So it'll say on error, stop, or keep going, and then select the file. And when you select the file, here, I've got one here. When you select the file, what's gonna happen is, when you hit next, it's gonna show you all the fields, and it'll show you exactly what it looks. So you'll see the header network, and the address, and the mask. You can see all this stuff here, so you'll see exactly the way it's gonna import and what it's gonna look like. And then when you hit import, it's gonna actually run, and do its thing. So then, do you can do that, um, and then that should give you, um, that should be a pretty easy way to, to import a, a bunch of networks without having to mess with APIs or anything. So hopefully this is helpful.